Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner. I am Radiated Brew and today we are working on the Lumber Revival, or at least preparing for it. That is the next mission we really want to do. Uh, however, there is this other uh, mission that came available as well called Power Lines. Um, so in Island Lake you'll see this in a little bit. There are a few different locations where some power line poles have fallen across the road and we have to deliver metal beams in order to repair those. And the best route to drag this uh, curtain side trailer here to the lumber mill involves going through one of those areas where some power lines are. Unless we uh, drag some wood over into the island lake and repair uh, a couple small bridges. Uh, they'll give us a little shortcut. Uh, drive to drag that curtain side trailer then to the lumber mill so that's our plan we're gonna we're gonna s get the twin steer all the way to island lake and to do so we're gonna go through drummond island and when we go through drummond island we're gonna load up on wood and we're gonna take that all the way to the east side of island lake so it's gonna be a nice long drive so without further ado Let's go. So the route we're going, it's pretty big open roads, so I don't think I'm going to have much trouble along the way. It's just kind of long. Uh, there's a few going up the mountains always a bit testy because with this longer body truck, there's definitely a few spots where I kind of wonder if maybe the ruts aren't too big. Uh, that is one thing. I'm not real sure how tippy this truck is. But we got we got the mud tires on there. We did upgrade the gearbox, so we have this to play with. Perhaps we do have diff lock already on the truck. Need to remember that. Check out the inside of the truck. Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful. Kind of a 90s, 80s style dash. Kind of that current day feel to it. This corner here is a pretty good test for how well we'll handle corners. Could have started that a little bit later. Pretty snug, but handled it all right. You know, I'm not sure if I can tow a trailer with this. There's a hitch there, but I'm not sure if it allows it. We might have to try that. Just got a trailer here to do so. Might as well. Might as well. No, no option. Can we refuel? We can. Alright. Well, no trailers. We can winch, but uh, we're not going to be able to hook up any trailers, which means we can't deliver any trailers with this truck, which is sad. It also looks like it might have a spot where a fifth wheel could pop out along with hauling cargo, but uh, I don't think that's an option to equip in the garage. I don't recall seeing that as an option. It, again, it'd be nice if you could maybe throw three things on here and, and a fifth wheel trailer or two things in a trailer. That'd give you a lot of hauling capacity. That'd be pretty nice. I think there are mods out there probably for that, but I'm keeping it vanilla. I will play uh, base game and the DLCs, whatever they come out with, but I'm not much of a mods person when it comes to comes to a game like this. I feel like there's a lot of the created content that uh, I don't even get to, so try to but 
whenever you're just kind of a casual doing this as a hobby type person not doing it all day your time is limited and I, I want to see what the developers have made One of the areas where I was concerned about ruts, but ooh, I like that. I like that axle action back there. That's pretty cool. I think there's one other truck that's been uh, added to the game in one of the DLC packs that has the, uh, other than the Russian trucks, a lot of the Russian trucks have those uh, twin axles up front. Uh, but the Amer the uh, North American style trucks, I think there's only one other one. So we're going through Drummond Lake. There is a fuel station in Drummond Lake. I, I'm thinking we should probably be able to get there since we still have 86 gallons. We've, we've done repaired all the bridges, so it's going to be a pretty another uh, just long twisted drive through Drummond Lake. Got a bit of a, a lean. Seem to handle that okay. No cargo, but. I'm curious how this truck will do. I'm really thinking it's going to get a lot of work in Alaska, possibly. It's a big, heavy truck. Has a lot of base uh, hauling ability. I believe it's four slots. Kind of now wondering if it's only three. I believe it's. I believe it's four. One of the disadvantages, I will say, compared to using the white Western Star and a semi trailer, is it can haul five. And you have the crane, which would allow you to pick up anything you may accidentally dump. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what kind of poor driver would do that, uh, or uh, anything that's out on the map. If you're driving past, you know, one of those missions where it's like, oh, go grab Cletus's fuel barrels he lost, uh, oil barrels, or whatever. It does come in handy for having the crane. Dang, rock jumped up and bit me.
through the tunnel. Sorry. Drummond Island, we have made it. I think I've confused Island Lake and Drummond Island a few times throughout the series. They always smush together. So we just want to take that turn instead of heading all the way to the port on the paved road. We're going to be loading up with lumber here on the map. <coughs> we'll find out how many we can haul. I'm really hoping it's four. That's kind of what I was planning on here is being able to take four. If not, we're actually going to have to come back. <laughs> Real twisty. Lord Guardrail. I found myself having to engage the diff lock yet. I feel like we've got a few more muddy spots on this route through this part of the map than the uh, I've had elsewhere. So we'll see if it comes to that. It is so long that it kind of pushes through a tough spot before uh, before you actually get bogged down with the actual drive wheels. Is this the right way? It is. Okay. Goodness. Goodness. I've been wondering. Top up on gas. Oh, do we, do we find a spot finally? We made it. This looks like a bigger mud hole is definitely going to be our kryptonite with this truck for now. head left get on over I really do believe I can pick up planks at the log station yeah I've already done it once P16 when we're repairing bridges here 
I really love the wood bridges in the area of Michigan. It holds four. Perfect. To the tunnel. That's kind of boggy. I think if I go straight across and then left, it's better. A little diff lock there made the made it work. Keeping your momentum with this truck is kind of uh, important. Those kind of weak drive tires, those displaced steer drive tires, they've got a few weaknesses to them. Oh, what a beautiful sight. So we are taking this load of planks all along the uh, the ridge route, I guess is what I should call it. It's where the uh, hill along this ridge meets the swamp. We're taking that all the way. Oh, crap. Is this bridge? Is that actually a bridge or is that uh, also blown out? Because <laughs> if I have to use planks, I'm going to be disappointed. Oh. My plan is to use them over here on this section. And then we can bring our. Then we can bring our uh, curtain trailer straight down that route to revive the lumber mill. So I'm really hoping that one, one bridge in the area is actually whole. Is that too much to ask? One bridge? Probably. It's probably too much to ask. been another truck where the high gear has been a real 
boom to its production, it seems like. It uh, seems to really just want to keep going whenever I have it right here. Not shifting gears a lot, it just seems to consistently go whenever it's actually got the traction. Only issues we've had have been the mud holes, but uh, high gear just keeps it keeps her moving. That's important. doing well on fuel. I'm going to go ahead and bypass this little trailer. There's a lot of fuel laying around this map. There's a couple uh, smaller fuel trailers. And then there's the semi-fuel trailer. We've got, I think, two scout fuel trailers positioned around this one. There's a lot of fuel ready to go. Oh, it does look like that bridge is whole. Been kind of worrying about that this entire bit of stretch here. What a beautiful sight. Cruising on through the lumber mill. All right, repairing the first bridge. Boom, <gasps> a boom. Beautiful. Which one is this is Hunter Bob's Bridge that we are working on. So once we have this opened up, we're going to have uh, such an easy route for getting this lumber mill going. It did look like there's another box up there ready for us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Definitely soft. Well, all right. Trailer. Definitely want to keep those back wheels on. My goodness. Let's see if we can crawl out of here. Oh. Oh, look, there we go. Get those wheels up there. Come on. Come on.
Well, Bob, you can get back to hunting because uh, we got the bridges fixed. And soon, soon the lumber mill shall be uh, operating again. But that is where we're going to leave it off for today. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. I have really enjoyed this so far. I hope you have, too. Uh, if you have, uh, keep letting me know about it because I, I do enjoy the support. Till next time, peace.